Thank you for tuning in to the Salem Local News Station. I'm Holly Mitchell. Recently, you have probably heard the Salem Witch Trials occurred here yesterday. Most of these trials are still underway, and we've been informed that Reverend John Hale of Beverly has returned to Salem to try to convince the accused to confess so they will not hang. Mr. Hale has made it clear to the media that he was, in fact, part of this court and signed his name condemning many to hang. He has also expressed that since then he has come to the realization that they are all innocent. We are now standing outside the Salem Courthouse waiting for the meeting hosted by Deputy Governor Danforth to let out so we can catch Reverend Hale and have a word with him. Oh, here he is now. Excuse me, Reverend Hale. Can we have a word with you? Sure. We have heard that you returned to Salem to persuade the accused to confess so that they could live. How has that been going for you? Not well at all. John Proctor, Rebecca Nurse, and Martha Corey were all hanged this morning. We are three of God's people. Completely innocent. Well, you seem convinced that there's no witchcraft in Salem. How can you be so sure? Well, as you know, when I arrived here, I believed that the devil was here. But as I got to know the town and who has a good reputation here, I have learned that the ladies who are accusing are lying. And like John Proctor said, vengeance is walking in Salem. What do you mean by that? I mean that people are accusing each other in order to seek revenge from old rivalries and, and land stealing arguments. What can you tell us about the deputy governor? Maybe? Well, since Abigail Williams has left the town, there have been no more accusations. Therefore, they plan to hang the rest of those who have not yet confessed and close the Salem with trials. That's all we have for you, Mr. Hale. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Well, there you have it, everyone. <laughs> The Salem Woods trials are coming to a close, and now we have Ariel, who is over searching a local farm for people affected with these trials. Thanks, Holly. As she said, I'm out here in a local field looking to any anyone who could give us more information on the trials. Here's someone. Excuse me, sweetie. Can I ask you a few questions? No. Have you had any family members involved in the witch trials? Yes, the man hanged with Mar Martha and Rebecca was my father. You're John Proctor's son? Yes. How is your mother, Elizabeth? You wicked people encouraged this. You fueled the court. And the girl, Abigail, it was smart for her to leave town. She is the one that deserves to hang. After all the problems she has caused, she doesn't deserve to live. Those are harsh words for a young boy. I am well informed, and I'm sure you can understand my anger. Yes, yes, of course. But do you think we could have a few words with your mother? There she is! Excuse me, ma'am. Could we have a word with you? I assume a few questions wouldn't hurt. Um, where is your life at through all this trouble? Well, I'm very reflective. I'm proud of my husband. He did the right thing by confessing to that lie. Now I have three children and one on the way that I hope to be strong for. I have learned that there are very bad people in this world, and they will do anything to get what they want. It really makes you value what you have. We're lucky to be alive. Okay, that's all the interviewing will do, Goody Proctor. You can go feed your family now. Thank you. What a wonderful woman, <laughs> looking through this tragedy and seeing the light. We should all learn this lesson today. Oh. Good things are made from trials and tests. Thank you for watching Salem. N local news, everyone. Have a lovely day.